Hello, my friends. I believe it's officially summer vacation for all of us now. It kind of feels pretty similar, but I heard the coolest thing about being in quarantine. They called it the age of hobbies or the year of skill building. And I thought that that sounded so cool. It means that more people are finding more things that are important to them. They can be important causes, taking care of others. And one thing that people are doing a whole lot of is finding things that they enjoy especially doing and making things to help keep them busy and keep their brains busy and their bodies busy. So more people are making bread and growing plants and knitting and building cars and doing photography outside. And I thought that was so cool. Have y'all been doing more activities? Have you found yourself doing more building or designing or drawing? This is a perfect time to do that because it's not quite safe to be out and about all the time. We can go out so long as we are being safe and conscientious of others or think about others when we go out. But it's a great time to pick a new hobby or do something that you haven't done very much of because you've been focusing on school and trying to stay on all your videos. So let's think about it. I know my last video, I talked about how I've been working on drawing and I've been having so much fun. I've been able to do lots more pictures, which also includes making lots of fun stuff that I get to share with all of y'all for coloring pages and activities. And I'm having so much fun with it. And it got me thinking about other hobbies that my family does too. So like my daughter, she loves to build with blocks and make paintings. And we've been making lots of volcanoes. It's been so much fun. We do science experiments all the time. And I was talking to my grandma because I can't go see her yet. And she's been telling me about all of her birds. And I said, oh, we finally, finally this year have more birds. Figured out what kind of foods they like. And now we get to see them and hear their beautiful songs. I believe that one was a sparrow. I like to think that God likes to bird watch too. You see how many thousands and thousands of different types of birds there are? They were one of the first creatures that God created and he filled up the sky with them. But if I stretch my imagination, I imagine that he does some bird watching too. We all know that he watches over us. And in the Bible we've heard, in Matthew 10, 29, are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them would fall to the ground outside of your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are numbered. So don't be afraid, you're worth more than sparrows. So if God knows when anything happens to any sparrow, even though there are millions of them, and he says, but you are so important. He knows how many hairs are on your head right now. You are so important to God. That makes me so happy on the inside. And that's what I thought of when I talked to my grandma. And whenever I hear the bird song, that's what I think of whenever I can hear it or see them. Oh, it makes me so happy. I wanted to share that with you so that you know every time you hear a bird song that God is watching that bird and you and he loves you so much i am so excited by that so today i think we should go on an adventure let's go outside since it's a beautiful day 
let's find how many little creatures are all around us that God put us on the planet to take care of and experience and love, just like he loves us. Before we get started, I would love to all of us pray together. Ready? Get your sillies out, put your hands however you'd like them, and let's just talk. You, me, all of us, birds of a feather in our flock, and let's talk to God. Okay, let's do it. <sighs> Dear God, I know that you don't see us as common or ordinary because we see that you love us in uncommon and extraordinary ways. We know that we are so precious to you. Thank you for loving us in such a strong way, for caring about us every day, for caring for all of those in your flock and all of those who are yet to be reached. Please help us remember that we have so many talents inside of us, so many things that we can do to make our world, your world, a better place. Amen. I will include down below some fun scavenger hunts that you can do wherever you are. Are you ready to play? I'm looking forward to it and I love you so much. Bye-bye.